Hi guys, today is day six finally of the liver cleanse and these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using for my juice. I have my six apples. I ran out of the Granny Smith apples so I'm just using another kind and I have my celery and um, the celery is for my juicer to help the juices flow through and I'm using a lemon because that proved really good. It's supposed to be a tart and sour a bit and I also have my onion that is really good for the liver as well and I'm supposed to be drinking this before 12 and I'm supposed to have all of it so drink all of it before 12 and right now it's 11 so here I have the things that I'm gonna need later I already got them ready so that's the Epsom salts olive oil and then over here I have I taken that these out of the fridge that's the grapefruit that I'm gonna be juicing so let them come to room temperature and I'm going to start juicing all of this goodness right here. So I'm supposed to drink this all at once. This is the breakfast. Um, and then after 12, you're not supposed to eat yeah. anymore. And at 12, around 12, you're supposed to have a colonic. So... If you're worried about the um, onion, because it's very good for the liver, but if you're worried about the taste, the purple onion is a lot more milder and actually that's the one that's better for the liver. And just add lemon, like you saw I just added the lemon. And the lemon just makes it much more palatable and enjoyable. So here we go. Mmm. So so good. Mmm. Yum. <sighs> oh, it's so good. I like it. It's so good. It can taste the granny apple. There's no granny apple in there, sweetheart. <laughs> I, there's just red apples. I didn't have any left. It's good. They're very good, right? Can you taste any of the onion? No. I just no. put a little bit, a little bit. So why did you want the juice? Because when I taste the jaws, it tastes yummy, so I wanted you to make some just for me. Next order for the prince. Hello. What are you doing? I'm taking the thing away. Are you doing your work? Yeah. Okay, try. Good. Yeah? Does it taste oniony? A little bit. Really? I didn't taste any onion in that one. Mm. No. no. Is it yummy? Yeah. Hi guys. Welcome to day number six. We are doing our liver um, cleanse from stones, uh, gallbladder, stones, uh, kidney stones, any stones, we're trying to get rid of all the stones. So day number six today, I want to recap what happened yesterday and what I'm going through today and I'm going to be vlogging what I'm going to be the process because day number six is when you start drinking the um, salt and you know all that stuff so like I just said you, um, you have to have your whole juice you have to drink that before 12 so it is before 12 I finished my juice I the, my 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 boy tried it he liked it so much he wanted me to make him something so I did it so they like it of course I didn't put as much onion I only put like a quarter of a small onion for them you know it's it's good for them as well if you're wondering why onion, like what are the benefits of onion, not only is it really good for the liver, it's one of the things that helps to uh, detoxify the liver if there's heavy metals and you know, the functioning of the liver. Um, but also, I can feel immediately when I have the, the onion juice, I can feel like I can breathe better. Um, the like congestion or if I have mucus like clogged in my lungs, in my throat, in my nasal, like 
they you just you hark it up and you spit it out like a lot of phlegm comes out a lot of like mucus comes out and you can also feel it so it's good for your lungs but you can also feel it in your brain so you know we, we need to detox our brain as well and you can actually feel like a slight pressure in your in your head like in your brain you can feel that and if you read up on about it you'll see that the onion juice actually helps to pass through the blood brain barrier something like that so it helps to actually detox the brain <laughs> how nice you know we gotta be having a nice brain over here so a few things I want to talk about um, about yesterday uh, yesterday was another like it started off really well but towards the second half of the day I had just a lot of emotions coming up again a lot of stuff so I just uh, we were outside and I just did a whole bunch of gardening because you know there's something so therapeutic about gardening you don't really think too much you know you just you just do and it's good it's like the connection with your brain and your your body you know you're just doing it's not that demanding you know so you're not straining that much and actually, you know, I don't, I don't really have that hunger. You know, I don't go through hunger. It's pretty much like if I'm not doing something, then I start to feel the emotions and I start to, you know, go through stuff. But if I'm busy, if I keep busy and, and it just, you really don't feel hunger, which is really wonderful. So, you know, it's, it's more like a mental thing, an emotional thing that's happening. So... What have we been experiencing today is all about going forward. Like I feel I want to do, because yesterday I was saying I want to go longer and you know, but today it feels like let's, let's do this, you know, let's get these stones out. I, I want the purging of the stones, you know, like bring it on, embracing the process, embracing the what will come in the evening embracing all of that just really looking forward to getting rid of stones and and liver cleansing and all those cleansing things just really really looking forward to that wanting to get into that because i feel like i'm able to now notice that the emotions are not it's it's like the stones contain the emotions, okay? So th whatever is uh, congesting the liver, the emotions are contained there. And you want to purge the emotions out. You, you, you know, they kind of come back and then they release and then you feel them again. And, and then you feel like absolutely amazing. And then you start feeling the emotions again. You know, it's just psycho, psycho. So, so you consciously realize that it's the stones that are actually holding. The liver is holding the emotions, you know, because of the stones, because of the impurities, because of the uh, heavy metals and things that are in processed through the liver. There's this really amazing uh, website that I found this information on. I will put that link of that website below so you can read yourself and it tells you step by step it's just like a, it's like a vlog you know article vlog thing that you find out how to do it exactly step by step so you can do it yourself and then it's just some information that i found very very uh, valuable and interesting and i want to read some of that information to you it says that the liver it is in charge of over 400 functions. Okay, so you can see how important the liver is. It's in charge of removing toxins, producing bile, and cholesterol metabolism. So bile is really important. If you have problems with absorption or secretion or, you know, detoxification, it's because it the bile needs to be about one liter a day the the liver is supposed to produce about one liter a day of bile but when the liver is clogged up and the gallbladder and all those things then 
it can only produce maybe about, some people produce a cup, some people produce less than a cup. So when that happens, you don't have proper absorption of your food. You don't get proper energy. You're cold all the time. You, um, you don't get the right nutrients from your food. So you're not taking the proper minerals that your body needs. You don't have the proper balance of minerals. You know, and, and also if you have enough bile, like one liter, that's, that's what should be a day, produced by the litter, litter, produced by the liver, you don't have proper waste elimination, okay? And you don't have proper detoxification as well. Your body can't get rid of the, you know, the chemicals, a lot of the foods have additional ingredients that don't need to be there. Um, and then heavy metals as well. So then they just get piled up in your body and then you start feeling, you know, somehow. Also cholesterol metabolism and dispose of hormones. We all, we have this, if you, if, if you have hormone imbalances, you know, if you have mood imbalances, if you have emotional imbalances, because the liver is clogged. So, and sometimes we have improper balance of hormones. So, some, you know, like plastics make you have more estrogen. So, the liver is in charge of disposing of those kind of hormones or so that there will be a balance. But if it's clogged up, it can't do its job uh, properly. So metabolism is hindered. We also say, oh, my thyroid, uh, my metabolism is not good because of my thyroid. But we never look at the liver like, wow, the liver is in charge of metabolism, metabolizing quickly, you know, absorbing and eliminating quickly. Uh, also, I want to say something about cholesterol metabolism is that the liver uses cholesterol to make hormones. Just want to put that out there, but it also it metabolizes cholesterol. You know, you don't you don't want to have an imbalance of hormones. Three things also, emotional stability and mood. I said that hormone regulation, hormonal regulation and the ability to deal with stress. Stress is so overlooked. I think everything like anxiety, fear, worry, all those things is basically stress. And I don't want to say my ability to deal with stress is better or someone else's is better or, you know, because it's not really up to us. It's not a conscious thing. The liver is also in charge of your ability to deal with stress. So no matter what kind of, uh, you know, Im implementing, you know, things I do, I still may retain stress for longer or I may be stressful all the time. Opposed to someone who may have a more stressful environment than I do and but but they can process the stress and, and that guy said, oh well I sit down with a cup of tea a cup of tea every day and, and I don't feel stress. Well it's not really up to me. You know, it's not really what you do. I mean, that helps for sure. But let's just go back to not blaming people for situations and saying, okay, you just need to clean your liver. You need to have, you know, detox of liver, cleanses and all these kind of things. So it's not really our fault. And I don't want to say that I, I can't, you know, because it's not, it's not me anymore. It's the liver. Anyway. So day number six, we, the theme is ready to purge the stress, ready to purge everything, the emotions, the, the, the past, the, the, you know, anxieties or thoughts, or I don't even know what anxiety is. You know, it's just, it's just a word made up and, and basically it's all just stress. Uh, re ready to release, feeling very sensitive and consciously aware of the emotions, that the emotions are there, they're a part of me. I, I'm, 
I'm not really them, but I see that they're there and I, I want to purge them out. So today I also realized that there are many changes that I have to do and you just have to, you know, you, you just have to live a certain way to uphold this freedom, this feeling of freedom and joy and just, I just want to mention like how nice it is to feel good in oneself and have a perky, joyful gladness within oneself, you know, just to have your mind happy. And I really feel like there's more that, that, that this only six days, it didn't accomplish everything. I want to keep doing this. You know, there's many little changes that have to be done because all those little things add up. You know, it's like, oh, well, there's one little thing there and there's another health thing there and there's another health thing there and there's another health thing there. You know, imagine all, if you have like 20 small changes that you just switch over to something else, how much more better you will feel, you know, addressing those and changing those, those little things. I also feel like, you know, this this cleanse has made me feel so good that I really don't want to go back to the way it was before. And, you know, I used to be raw. I used to be, um, for like a long time, I was raw, but I had to stop being raw because of the ulcerative colitis and I had to go on the carnivore, fully carnivore, and I had to start in putting a lot of uh, protein in into my diet. But looking back on all those things, if it was the liver that was congested, you know, then I'm just, because I'm really hoping and, and wishing I want to go back on raw because I know how it feels like. I know how good it feels. I, you feel the same way that you feel right now when you're doing a cleanse like this. You feel like just free, you know? You don't feel condensed and, and down and heavy and all, all those. So I'm hoping that once I start cleaning my liver, like clearing the stones, then the body will be able to create more bile. Then the digestive process will be much easier for my body because even with the um, the H. pylori overgrowth that I had, you know, that's bacteria, but bile is supposed to kill off all that bacteria. You know, no matter what we eat, the bile, it's, it's like the acid, right? It's, and it's supposed to kill off all those bad things so that they don't keep multiplying and infiltrating your body, right? So if you produce enough bile, you'll be able to kill those things off. That's just what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm hoping I'm on the right mindset because I really want to go back to raw, you know, uh, because it's just, it, it's just fabulous. It's fabulous to live that way. It's fabulous to feel that way, but it's not fabulous, <laughs> fabulous to have digestive disorders. And if it's true that the liver is in charge of absorption because I had a problem with absorb even eating raw. I, I know I wasn't absorb absorbing. I was not eliminating properly at all. And you'd think, oh, you'd eat raw, you'd be like eliminating every like five minutes or something. But no, I wasn't at all. I had problems with elimination. Maybe it was because of the liver. And you think, well, if you were raw, you wouldn't have problems with your liver. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know where all of this came from. I don't know when this started. I have no idea and you know at first I was like mad at the whole situation why why but um, now I'm just like okay we gotta deal with it we gotta we gotta figure out how to how to fix all of this you know and um, and just I feel like if you're gonna eat then raw is the optimal I mean yeah I don't know there's just just my feelings. 
and uh, nobody w once you start feeling this great if you've been in a if your body is not functioning properly you do something like this you feel so great you don't want to go back right you don't want to go back to what you used to be eating uh, it's 12 o'clock okay so I'm supposed to be I still feel the juice in me so maybe I'll wait for like an hour or something because it's supposed to be around 12 close to 12 that you, you have your your colonic so I have my colonic appointment right here this is my appointment so I get to choose which appointment this appointment or this appointment I don't know yet we'll figure that out really not a fan of doing that but uh, that's what we gotta do right we're trying to keep to the instructions as strictly as possible I had the the enema colonic thing like two-ish something like that one two I don't know so I was preparing it and I was almost done preparing it and all of a sudden I just have to like zoom to the bathroom because pff, stuff came out lots of stuff it's like where is it coming from I don't know <laughs> um so I felt some relief and then I was like I didn't have like the feeling anymore right so then I did the colonic and I, I had to do it slowly because I used warm water I didn't put anything into the solution like you can but if you have digestive issues it says not to so I didn't I just used warm um, filtered water uh, distilled water and um, I didn't get through I still had about one quarter left maybe less than a quarter somewhere around there I didn't finish the whole bag uh, and I just I had to stop and go on the toilet because everything you know is like a what's it called a geyser just coming out and, um, and then I had more like stuff coming out like no no um no stones I didn't see any stones I just feel like the the pressure that was like around my rib area is gone so whatever was stuck or clogged there came out and I definitely feel better, you know, feel like my throat is kind of like, it's dry. I don't know how that happened. Okay, it is six o'clock exactly. So I have, um, this is three cups of um, water with four tablespoons of Epsom salts okay so it's all mixed in there and it's six o'clock so this is my first three quarters when I was making this I was cringing already okay this is the first one. Next one is going to be eight. <sighs> Can I drink water after this? I don't think so. to do that like three more times. Oh. 
smell so disgusting. My throat is burning. Okay. It's all for a wonderful cause. And we're going to stay happy and we're going to stay motivated. Because we got through this far, we can keep going, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 I'll see you guys at 8. Okay, it's 8. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking at this thing, you know? This one. I'm just looking at it. Because I have to drink it. I know, you don't know what it tastes like. It's time Go ahead and drink it. Oh. This is probably more worse than six days of of just juice. So why are you even drinking it? Ah! Hmm. Oh. Oh, if only my mouth was big enough to just take everything all in at once. So I could just swallow it at one time. Oh, damn, okay, I'm done. I'm done for today. Don't taste that. That's, that's bad. Okay. Here's the big moment. I have my three quarter cup grape juice, half a cup olive oil. I'm just mixing it so I can kind of drink it all together and not feel really the, the olive oil all at once. Um, after the second salt, I did use the bathroom, like just like watery stuff, you know, like three or four times. So it's already kind of, you know, letting things come out but still there's no no uh there's no stones okay here we go here we go let's do this Okay, here we go. Lay down. <sighs> 20 minutes. We're gonna lay in bed, guys. We're gonna lay in bed and we're gonna let, let the stones start falling out. I can hear. So I'm going to lay here still for 20 minutes. You know, this is what I've been waiting for. Right? I've been waiting for like six, six days for this moment. So I'll see you guys later. And, make, and, and you got to put your alarm. Lay here for 20 minutes still. And then you can go to sleep. And then put your alarm for 6 a.m. Because that's when you're going to be having your drink. Okay. Stuff is happening. I can hear rumblings. Yay!
guys, today is day number seven. Yesterday was day number six of the liver gallbladder cleanse. Um, so what happened yesterday, I have some footage of what I was doing. I took uh, the salts at six and then again at eight. And then at 10, I took the grapefruit and the olive oil lay down and immediately I started feeling gushing swooshing all over my abdomen and I just laid there I know it says you're supposed to lay for like 20 30 minutes I laid for by the time I checked it was 40 minutes and you know I still didn't get to sleep right and you're supposed to go to sleep right after but I couldn't I was, I just, I was like so excited and pumped and I just couldn't get to sleep, which was really hard because I felt like such pressure on my lower abdomen, like heavy pressure. And at first I thought that I needed to um, like just pee or something that my bladder was full, but I laid there, laid there, like, I know you're not supposed to get up, you're supposed to fall asleep and kind of sleep until 6 a.m. But then finally I'm like, I can't just keep holding it, right? So I went to pee and I pee just a tiny bit, but the pressure was still there. So I didn't pass anything or anything. I just, that's another thing. I just been burping like so much. And... I laid there again, try to get back to sleep. I couldn't get back to sleep for a long time. I was exhausted, like the pressure was heavy and much. So, you know, I just kind of tried, tried, tried. Eventually I got back to sleep. It was like past 12. Um, woke up at 1.30 with nausea. Like, I wanna just, vomit like I felt the oil I went pee and that's when I went pee as well and I was just like burping like this massive like oh gross like oil and I just felt like like one big oil blob and I just felt like that oil thing here like you know it's like it wasn't going down the other way it was just coming back up this way <sighs> I didn't, I just kind of propped my head up more and just kind of like remained as still as I can until I went back to sleep. Um, woke up like 5.30, couldn't get back to sleep. Did the salts at six, um, then went back to sleep, woke up like again earlier. So I didn't have any passing of stones after the 6 a.m. It says 6 a.m. you'll pass stones. I didn't pass any stones. I just get, you know, I was like tired at this point and wanted to sleep more, even up to the 8. I woke up like 8.15 because I didn't set the alarm for 8. Um, so I just took it at 8.15. I just had the whole, whole liter of the apple juice, orange, onion, and celery combination. I just had that now. So I've been going to the bathroom mainly after the second second um, salt drink, um, but it's not it's not like a good experience. Like I didn't sleep and and you know and I thought I would be passing more. I would say, uh, but I think all in all, I still have to do the. Um, the colonic, the home colonic thing. So I don't know if I'm gonna still do that today or if I'm gonna do that again tomorrow. It'll be good to do it today because I wanna see how many stones have come out completely. But the thing is that stuff came out, like at the very beginning when I started to go use the bathroom, that was not like in the form of stones. It was more like mashed up stones, like just green mush stones. So, like, I, those are very important. I don't know where those came from. I'm, I'm suspecting every place you have stones, it helps to get rid of them, whether it's your kidneys, your gallbladder, or your liver. 
I suspect all the stones from different places are, are coming out. So they have come out. I do, when I was laying there uh, last night, after I took the olive oil and grapefruit, I actually could feel my sinuses opening up and I started to breathe a lot more freely. I could feel the sinuses to my, like the, the passages to my ear, to my nose, up here, like everywhere opening up. So if you have, you know, uh, like sinus trouble, you know, this would probably be good for you as well. Like I said, it's a lot of burping, a lot of like this kind of saliva, like, like foam really in my mouth. Um, I, I'm not hungry. I don't really have a desire to eat, nor do I really want to eat any of like bread or any of that stuff. I don't. I'm just like put off by it. If anything, I'll have something like, like chew on an apple or something, you know, like, because I just had that juice, so I'm still full of the juice. I'm gonna wait maybe like an hour and a half or something until I have the colonic. But I have a lot of energy. I feel like I'm still upbeat, like I haven't been brought down because sometimes after the purging, a lot of people are really tired and all of it. I don't really feel that tired. Maybe it'll catch up to me, you know, later on today, but I still feel like actually excited and I want to do stuff like I have projects I want to do in the garden. I feel like th the same thing that I was talking about before in my previous uh, days was about how your whole demeanor, your mood, your uh, character, it changes like you become sweeter, you become gentler, you become nicer, you know, it's like because your body is feeling good, then you can express yourself in a very positive and nice way. So that's even, I've been noticing that today, just, and, and I love it, you know, it's so nice to be a person who's just absolutely so cheerful and sweet and kind and extra caring and extra nice with the words and it's just really nice to be that kind of person and I, I would, I always want to be that kind of person. So it makes you want to be a better person for sure. And I'm still towards the path of, you know, sustaining more raw foods in the diet. Um, you know, hopefully I don't revert back to the ulcerative colitis. I got my minerals that I ordered. So have those. In case you wanted to see what my setup was, I just put some towels down on the floor and then this here is what I'm using. I just popped it on some hangers but um, I don't even know how much is there. Two quarts. So last time I still had about this much left but um, that's like the stopper and um, yeah it's warm and there's nothing in it because if you have digestive issues, it's just water. So it's just uh, distilled water. And yeah, so there it is. <laughs>